it's June and welcome to my channel and if you guys are wondering because some of you are friends with me on Facebook um, but some of you haven't seen me on YouTube and have been inboxing me you know private messaging me uh, asking me where I've been and um, well the reason why I haven't been making videos is because I have been in Mexico yes and um, the reason why I was in Mexico um, is because I went for dental tourism and what that means is um, I got a completely a complete smile makeover yes in eight days um, if you look at my previous videos I'm not smiling a lot and if I do I'm smiling like this always hiding my smile I never liked my smile at all well I, I don't want to say never liked my smile years ago I loved my smile but I started losing teeth in the back. Um, wait, uh, okay, before I go any further, the reason why I'm making this video is because I had some questions from, from you guys and um, they asked me to do a video um, answering the questions. So maybe you can get an idea of what I got done. Okay, first of all, first question, how old are you? I'm 46 years old. Yes, I am, yeah. And it's starting to show. <laughs> um, yes, I'm 46 years old. I'm happily married. I have four children. Um, okay, question number two. Did you have healthy teeth before? No. At one point I did. I did have healthy teeth. But because I was so scared of the dentist. Ow, I just bit my tongue. So scared of the dentist, I neglected my teeth. Um, every dentist I went to um, hurt me. I, I was just very, very scared. So I neglected it. So once I lost one tooth, it became like a domino effect. And then I would get a toothache in the neck. I would lose it. I would go to the dentist and like, oh, you need a bridge. And once they had the needle out, I was out of there. So I neglected my teeth. And yeah, they started to space and, and get loose. Very, very loose. It was very, very hard to eat anything. And not only that, I was swallowing a lot of the food. Like I was, I was chewing so carefully and then I would swallow the food. So my body wasn't digesting the food the way that it should. And it developed, it, it, it actually made a lot more stomach acid and my stomach would blow up all the time. And I had no idea that that was the reason. Okay, what did I have done? Okay, well, I had um, 19 teeth left in my mouth. When you're supposed to have, I think 32. I had only 19 teeth, none in the back just over here, but they were very, very spaced. Um, what did I have done? I had all 19 teeth extracted. Yeah, in one time. And during the surgery, I had eight implants put on top and eight implants put on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And what I have, the procedure that I have is snap-on de snap dentures. And it is the most amazing um, thing in the world. It really is. It's having perfect teeth in eight days without messy glues, without, you know, the adhesives, without it coming down when you speak or when you eat. I like to sing. Who the hell wants to sing and then your teeth fall out of your mouth, huh? They are so tightly put in there. It's amazing. And all I have to do every day, I'm not going to do it. And I'm not going to show you because it's scary for me. You know, I just don't like it. I'm a little vain like that. But you snap it. You got to pull down, take it, you wash it. You're going to clean your gums, do the bottom. They come out, you snap them back in. Um, so that's what I had done. Snap on dentures with mini implants. Okay. Number four, did it hurt? Let me tell you, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh. Mm. And some of you might say I'm full of, but I'm going to tell you. The week before I went to Cancun, I was having anxiety. I was, um, I was thinking, oh my God, like, how am I going to Cancun? I, like, I see the videos of Dr. Herman Azat, um talking with his patients and they're like, oh yeah, I, I was, I was on the beach. I was, and I was like, I was a little skeptical about that. I'm like, how are they doing that? You know, like, could it be? I had a lot of anxiety, but when I met him and his staff, and they made me feel so comfortable, and he did tell me, you know, you're going to feel some pain, you know, afterwards, you're having a big procedure, you're going to need ice packs and whatever, he has painkillers, anti-inflammatory, um, ibuprofen, the whole nine yards. 
I had all that done and I have to tell you, I did not take one painkiller, not one, not what, not even like a Tylenol, like, oh, you know, let me take the edge off, nothing. And I was so surprised and I'm like, how could that be? I just had major work done to my mouth and nothing. The only thing that I did get, and again, it didn't hurt, was I got massive bruising. I don't know why, even even the dentist was, uh, was stunned when I walked in, he's like, what happened to you? I'm like, listen, I bruise very, very easily, and I do. Hold up. <laughs> so, but pain-wise, nothing. If I had a paper cut, that would hurt 10 times worse than what I was feeling. That's it. I was just, I was swollen, obviously, because they're putting the implants all the way up into my jawbone, you know? So, I'm still swollen. I got back two days ago. So... It is seven, eight, nine, nine, nine days ago, ten days ago that I no nine days ago that I had my surgery and look I and I'm eating I'm eating what best thing about this is it's not a regular denture it doesn't have a palate on top you know like regular dentures they have the whole big plate it doesn't have that it just comes during its heat look at the gums everything looks so beautiful so high up like you can't you cannot tell that they are not my given teeth, you know? It just looks like I took really, really good care of my teeth and they're pearly white. Mm-hmm, and I feel good. Okay, uh, okay, wait, How, okay. <laughs> so confused right now. How did you find your dentist? Well, this is how it started. Every single day of my life that I've been going through the pain and the torture of toothache pain, I've always had my teeth in the back of my mind. Like, how am I going to do this? It costs so much. I, I can't do this. I would go to dentists, to dentists, to dentists. They were quoting me 60000 65000 35000 blah, 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 this, that, that, that. And I'm like, where am I getting this money? Because my coverage wasn't paying it. So how am I doing this? Um, so I was talking to my sister-in-law, Amber. I'll give you a shout out, Amber. And she's like, why don't you go overseas? I'm like, overseas, what? No way, no way. You know, I'm thinking, ew, it's gonna be hard. Like, you don't think. Um, you just think the worst. Like, okay, I'm going to a foreign country where nobody speaks English and, you know, there's chickens running around and, and all that. Um, so first she said Costa Rica. I said, all right, let me, let me look into it. And people are writing things and whatever. But then I seen on YouTube, Dr. Herman Azad. And for some reason, him, his staff, the way that they were speaking, I was drawn to them. I felt instantly relaxed and I felt a connection right away. Um, I didn't go right away. I researched um, his practice for about a year before I made my final decision. So, um, you know, I really felt like I knew them. I really did. I knew half their names before I even went there from the video. And, uh, excuse me. Oh. I'm very thirsty. So, um, yeah, so that's how I found them. And then I, I said, oh, wow, they, they're located in Cancun. Who won't want to go to Cancun? So, uh, yeah, so I, I basically stayed um, focusing on Dr. Haman and, and his practice in Cancun. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Number six, you ready? Is it done in someone's house? Listen. I've had so many people concerned. Is it a clean place? Is it this? Is it someone's basement? Um, is it, you know, do they sterilize? Do they do this? Everything is absolutely beautiful, if not even better than any of the dentists that I've ever been to here in the United States. I don't mean to, you know, down, down, you know, the dentist practices in my country, but seriously, it was amazing. It was beautiful. The staff was wonderful. There were no chickens running around. Really, there were no chickens running around. The place was immaculate. Um, I couldn't have felt more at home. Uh, let me see. How much was it? Well, um, it definitely is 70% less than what you would pay in the United States. Um, I was quoted 65000 I think that was the most I was quoted for like a whole mouth restoration. I got all this done, everything, in eight days for $10,000.
that is a steal. You can, I, I, I've met people that had two teeth done, implants or whatever they had done, and they paid like $5,000 or four teeth in the front and it cost them $12,000. I got every single thing done. I am happy as can be, not in pain. I think I look pretty damn good for someone who had major, major um, dental surgery. Blah, blah, blah. I'm learning how to speak, guys, so don't mind me. Um, dental surgery. Uh, yeah, and I'm constantly smiling. Hi. Hello. 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 Um, okay, so that's how much my thing is. Every single patient is different. Every case is different. You might need only need two implants, or you might have a, um, a denture that you want to turn into snap-on dentures where they take off the palate, they give you the implants, and you can snap them in. That's completely different price than what, what I had done. Every single case is different. How can I get more info? Well, I'm going to put all the links down below to Dr. Herman Azat and his staff. And um, there you can find prices. I'm also going to put links to his videos that you can see. And, um, and that's it. I mean, I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't even, I can't even tell you how excited I am. I am, when I first got them, obviously you're not going to sit there and bite into steak. But I did start off with soft foods because my gums are still healing. So I started off with mashed potatoes and eggs. And then I, you know, a couple of days later, I had uh, a chicken a chicken burrito. Easy. Oh, my God. It felt so good to eat it and to really chew it well. Um, and that's it. So once they start really healing, I'll be able to, like, mm, like, go into a steak like an animal. That's right. <laughs> um, I haven't had steak in years, so this is going to be really, really exciting for me. My kids are so happy. My husband loves the way they look. Yes. Um, and that's it. I cannot say enough about Cancun Cosmetic Dentistry. I cannot. I cannot. I'm going back, I think, like every year to make sure that everything's okay. I'll get my checkups. And, um, you know, and if you want to go, I mean, it's, the price is amazing. And you're on the beach. I was on the beach. I was in the pool. Um, I had margaritas. I was just, I was enjoying Cancun. I enjoyed it to the fullest. Really. I really did. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave questions down below. I'll be happy to answer them um, or click his link, go to his page. You can ask them questions. They also have a Facebook page, uh, Can Cancun Cosmetic Dentistry. I'll put the link down below for that as well. And I hope you guys go to sunny Cancun and meet my favorite dentist in the world. Well, actually, it was two of them, Dr. Sessa and Dr. Haman. Awesome, awesome guys. Staff was amazing. Mwah. Bye guys. Hope you enjoy my video. Bye.